In a world where warfare increasingly demands precision, endurance, and the ability to operate without risking human lives, the United States has taken a decisive leap forward with its latest development, the S-70 UAS, an unmanned version of the legendary UH-60 Black Hawk helicopter. Built by Sikorsky, a Lockheed Martin company, this aircraft represents the culmination of decades of experience and innovation in both manned and unmanned flight. It's not just a Black Hawk without a crew. It's the next evolution of vertical lift capability. In this video, we'll explore what makes the S-70 UAS, also known as the U-Hawk, such a remarkable aircraft. We'll look at its technical features, how it compares to other unmanned rotorcraft, what advantages it inherits from the original Black Hawk, and how removing the pilot entirely changes what a helicopter can do. The story of the S-70 UAS begins with the UH-60 Black Hawk, one of the most successful military helicopters ever built. Since its introduction in the late 1970s, the Black Hawk has served as the workhorse of the US Army and numerous Allied forces around the world. From combat operations to search and rescue, medical evacuation, and logistics missions, its rugged design and proven reliability have made it indispensable. Sikorsky's engineers took that proven airframe and decided to push it into a new era, one where machines could perform the same complex missions autonomously. The S-70 UAS is not a prototype built from scratch. It's a re-engineered version of the UH-60L, retrofitted with Sikorsky's Matrix technology, a system that enables fully autonomous flight. With Matrix, the helicopter can take off, fly, avoid obstacles, deliver cargo, and land, all without a pilot on board. At first glance, the U-Hawk looks familiar. It has the same iconic lines, the same twin engines, and the same overall shape as the UH-60. But step closer and you notice the differences. The cockpit is gone. Instead of pilot seats, control panels, and flight instruments, there's a smooth, enclosed forward section with clamshell doors that open outward, allowing cargo to be loaded directly through the nose. The traditional pilot windows are replaced by sensors, cameras, and navigation systems. By removing the cockpit, engineers gained enormous internal space, about 25% more cargo volume than a standard Black Hawk. The aircraft can now carry up to 10,000 pounds of internal payload or 9,000 pounds externally on its cargo hook. That means it can transport ammunition, fuel, supplies, or even unmanned ground vehicles into combat zones, all without putting human pilots at risk. Lockheed Martin claims the U-Hawk has a self-deployment range of more than 1,800 miles, depending on configuration and payload. It's capable of loitering for up to 14 hours, offering unmatched endurance for a helicopter of its size. And despite the added autonomy equipment, the aircraft maintains much of the UH-60's original performance envelope. The S-70 UAS's maximum cruise speed is estimated at 160 knots, about 185 miles per hour, comparable to its manned counterpart. It can operate at altitudes up to 19,000 feet, with a rate of climb of approximately 2,500 feet per minute. Fuel capacity remains similar to the UH-60L, roughly 1,100 gallons, though optional auxiliary tanks can extend its range for long-duration missions. The helicopter's autonomy suite includes an advanced tri-mode radar for obstacle avoidance, LIDAR and electro-optical sensors for terrain following, and an infrared gimbal for navigation in darkness or adverse weather. Triple redundant flight control computers ensure fail-safe operation, while backup hydraulic and electrical systems enhance reliability in harsh conditions. Essentially, this is a machine that doesn't just replace a pilot, it replaces an entire cockpit's worth of decision-making and awareness. But what does removing the human pilot actually achieve? For one, it dramatically reduces risk. Helicopter missions often take place at low altitudes, in poor weather, and under enemy fire, the most dangerous conditions for any crew. An unmanned system can fly directly into those environments without hesitation. Secondly, it increases efficiency. Without the need for life support equipment, armor, or manual controls, the U-Hawk saves weight, freeing capacity for extra fuel or payload. And thirdly, autonomy opens new mission profiles, remote resupply under fire, 
casualty evacuation without medics on board, or reconnaissance in contaminated zones where human survival is impossible. In disaster relief scenarios, the U-Hawk could deliver food, water, or medicine to isolated regions after a hurricane or earthquake. For the military, it could provide precision logistics in hostile zones, operate from forward bases, or even act as a communications relay platform. The possibilities extend well beyond the battlefield. Now let's consider how this new unmanned helicopter compares to other similar systems around the world. The US Navy previously explored a concept called the MQ-8 Fire Scout and its newer variant, MQ-8C, an unmanned rotorcraft based on smaller helicopter designs like the Schweitzer 333 and Bell 407. The Fire Scout is capable and versatile, but it's limited in payload and endurance compared to the U-Hawk. The MQ-8 can carry around 600 pounds of payload and has a range of roughly 110 nautical miles. Impressive for a small drone, but nowhere near the strategic flexibility of a full-size Black Hawk derivative. Europe and Asia are also experimenting with unmanned helicopters. Airbus has the VSR-700, a medium-sized rotary drone designed for naval operations. It's agile and efficient, but still in testing and much smaller than the S-70. Meanwhile, China has introduced the AR-500C, a coaxial rotor unmanned helicopter optimized for high-altitude operations with around 1,100 pounds of payload capacity. Compared to these systems, the U-Hawk sits in a completely different class, far larger, more powerful, and designed for global, multi-domain missions. The advantage of using a proven airframe like the Black Hawk can't be overstated. The UH-60 platform has more than 40 years of operational experience and a global logistics network already in place. Spare parts, maintenance expertise, and supply chains are well established. By converting this proven design into an autonomous system, Sikorsky dramatically reduces development risk and cost. It's a familiar machine, but smarter, stronger, and safer. Another major strength is modularity. The U-Hawk isn't limited to one role. Its cargo bay can be configured for transport, medevac, ISR, intelligence surveillance reconnaissance, or communications missions. The autonomy software allows the same airframe to adapt to multiple scenarios, even on short notice. In the future, it could integrate weapon systems or be linked with manned aircraft in a loyal wingman configuration where it supports piloted helicopters like the future Defiant X in coordinated operations. And while the U-Hawk represents a leap forward, it doesn't mean the manned Black Hawk is going away anytime soon. In fact, both are likely to operate side by side. The US military envisions a future where manned and unmanned systems work in tandem, with crewed helicopters performing command and control roles while unmanned ones handle high-risk or repetitive missions. This combination could redefine how vertical lift is used on the battlefield. As autonomy technology evolves, we may even see the U-Hawk operating completely independently, communicating directly with ground troops, relaying sensor data, or delivering supplies without any real-time human input. The artificial intelligence backbone developed through Sikorsky's Matrix program is already capable of dynamic path planning, obstacle avoidance, and adaptive mission execution, all core capabilities for the autonomous battlefield of tomorrow. From a strategic perspective, the U-Hawk's debut sends a clear message. The United States is investing heavily in unmanned logistics and autonomous combat support. In modern warfare, where drones dominate the skies and AI shapes decision-making, the ability to project vertical mobility without risking pilots provides a decisive advantage. It's worth noting that this technology didn't emerge overnight. Sikorsky has been testing autonomous flight in modified helicopters for years. In 2022, an optionally piloted UH-60 completed a fully autonomous resupply and landing mission under Project Convergence. Those tests proved that the concept wasn't just possible, it was practical. The S-70 UAS is the natural evolution of that effort. In conclusion, the S-70 UAS U-Hawk is far more than an experimental drone. It's a signpost pointing toward the future of military aviation, 
By taking the battle-proven Blackhawk design and merging it with cutting-edge autonomy, advanced sensors, and efficient design, the US has created a helicopter capable of doing what no other can – deliver heavy payloads, operate for long durations, and fly into the world's most dangerous environments without risking a single pilot. It's the next step in the ongoing transformation of warfare, where machines don't just replace humans, but extend their reach, amplify their capabilities, and redefine what's possible in the sky. What are your thoughts on the U-Hawk? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give us a like and subscribe to Military World to get our latest videos straight to your notifications.